Now this is a wireless Bluetooth controller, but also comes with a 2.4 gigahertz wireless dongle. Now this controller supports Bluetooth, or you can use the included 2.4 gigahertz wireless dongle. So the controller itself feels quite ergonomic in the hands. Um, you've got the Xbox layout with dual joysticks. These are Hall Effect joysticks, so no worries about stick drift. You've also got Hall Effect triggers for the accuracy and precision. So it is a multi-platform controller, supports Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, Switch, Steam Deck, and so on and so forth. You've got an interesting D-pad, select start, X, Y, B, A buttons, and you've even got two extra buttons there, C and Z, and that comes in handy for Nintendo Switch games. Home and start buttons at the bottom. Pogo pins for charging with special dock accessories, uh, not included. You've got Type-C charging at the top as well. On the back, you've got various macro buttons and customizable buttons that you can um, program yourself. You've got a flick switch in the middle, which allows you to select your connectivity option. So it's currently set to work with USB. Um, if you flick it to the middle switch, that is Bluetooth. And right at the end is your Nintendo Switch. So that is how you can set the connectivity. The controller does feature LED lights. Um, looks really nice and comfortable in the hands. You have an 800 milliamp hour battery built in, which promises up to 40 hours of gameplay. So that was the Fly Digi Vader 3 Pro working perfectly fine on my Nintendo Switch OLED.